wise men say only fools rush in but I can't help falling in love with you. Yeah. Oh yes, this is gonna be the place. All right, pull over. We're here. I think I see him. That has got to be. That has got to be my son, my boy. Oh, wow! Look at this. Son! Son! Over here! Sons! Sons! Over here! It's your pops! Son! Look! Over here! In this direction! The hell? It's your old man! Father Spaghetti? Father Spaghetti! What in the hell are you doing here? Oh, I'm get down. What are you doing here? How are you here? It was quite the journey, sons. I can assure you of that. I had to pull all of my resources just to find this place, but finally I have prevailed. This is Spaghettiville, huh? Well shit, way to go. So, what is this place, son? Do you run your own town? Me? No, not really. I should, I am the most qualified, but for now I'm just a prisoner here at the Spaghetti Theater. A prisoner? But everything has your name on it, son. The Spaghetti Theater, the Spaghetti Jail, the Spaghetti Courthouse, the Spaghetti Motel, Bank, etc, etc. I know, right? One would think. You see, Father Spaghetti, this is Spaghetti Film. It's like Mr. Rogers' Land of Make-Believe, meaning it only exists in my imagination. So it's my subconscious that's calling the shots around here, which, sadly, I am also a subject to. I know, doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense, right? The great me, the creator. Sounds like an ass backwards system, son. But I like what you've done with the place. Very colorful. Thanks, boss. So what brings you all the way here, anyway? And all alone? No love with you. No ball and chain. Actually, son, that's her. The horse I rode in on. The taxi cab? Yes, son. She is a taxi cab now. Don't ask questions. It's the early 2020s. Awesome! So what's in the bag? Ah, yes. This, son. This is why I have traveled all the way from the comforts of New Jersey to whatever the hell this mess is. I told you it's... Yes, yes, yes. Your imagination. Meaning you should love this bag of goodies that I have accumulated for you over the past year for Christmas and your birthday. Wow, really? That's friggin' sweet. Thanks, Father. And thanks, Donna. <coughs> you love birds just rock. Well, son, I'm glad to hear it. Now, could you take these, please? Your father is an old man, and all these toys weigh a ton to me. Well, I would, but like I said, I'm a prisoner here at the Spaghetti Theater. I can't leave the grounds. Can't step off this sidewalk even. If I do, this leg brace around my ankle will shock me into unconsciousness. Believe me, I know I've tried it many times. Wow, son. Really? Well, here, let me just bring him to you then. Here, take him. Take him before I lose my fucking back. Now, how exactly did you become a prisoner of your own imagination anyway? Well, about a month ago, I got trashed over at the Spaghetti Pub, got into a fight outside, defending a woman's honor, might I add, and accidentally killed a guy in this fight. Oops, by punching his nose right through his brain. You ever see that in the movies? It actually happened in real life. My imagination can do all sorts of weird shit that wouldn't work in real life. Yikes, wow. Just like in that movie Con Air. Exactly like in Con Air. Exactly like in Con Air. Except, this is not exactly prison. It's a movie theater, son. Your jail's over there. So this isn't really much of a punishment then, since you're such a big movie buff and all. Yeah, one might think that, but I don't get to pick and choose what I watch, okay? Hmm, I see. So this movie here, the uh, Idaho Transfer, what's that about? A businessman whose company transfers him to their Idaho facility for reassignment? No, not exactly. That's actually a coherent and feasible plot, if not boring. But it says it was created by Peter Fonda, Easy Rider, Tom Jones' son. 
yeah, back in the early 70s, when he was probably on every drug known to man. But still, it's not the worst piece of shit I've seen. Yep, the theater warden forces myself and the other two inmates to watch whatever dog shit he thinks will drive us crazy. So, they force you to watch bad movies as a punishment? So... So it's Mystery Science Theater 3000, that stupid show you used to like as a kid. Yeah, it's a direct ripoff of Mystery Science Theater. So still, the same question, how exactly is that a punishment for you? Well, I can never leave this theater like I said, and I have to live off theater food. That's it. That's all they'll feed me. Popcorn, candy, sounds good, but it's not a meal really. Prison food would be better. Plus, the other two inmates and I don't always get along all the time. Two other inmates? Who are they? Those two idiots over there. Assassin Blair and Defector the Bear. Well, at least you got company, son. Not exactly robot friends, but hey. Yeah, but they'll do, I guess. Well, I wish I could help this son. Forget about it, old man. You did enough by locating my imaginary village. Spaghettiville and give me this bag of toys to unbox. So thanks again. If you tried anything, they'd probably just throw your ass in here too. And unless you want to be subjected to a weekly Tomes and Talisman marathon, I would leave as soon as possible. Spaghettiville can be a rough little village. However, if you two are looking for a good place to eat, you should check out the Kronos Bar and Grill. Right over there, see? Burgers this side of the Spaghetti River. Hmm. Oh yeah, sounds delicious. Well, on that note, son, I think I'll say farewell and let you get back to it, whatever this thing is that you're doing in the imagination thing. Sounds good, Pops. The theater warden wants me back in the theater in 20 minutes for my third viewing of the Idaho transfer. Right? Uh, good luck, son. You're a real trooper. I know, right? Nobody has it worse than me. It goes slaves, holocaust, and then me right on the top for people with the most problems. Oh, before I go, son, what's the quickest way back to New Jersey from, you know, here? From here? Um... Oh, hey! Over at the Spaghetti Pub in the men's room? Yeah. Right beside the toilet, there's a little door. It's one of those being John Malkovich doors. So, as long as you're willing to experience what it's like to be John Malkovich for a few minutes, it will deposit your ass somewhere on the side of the New Jersey Turnpike. Wow, son, really? <laughs> Can't beat that. It's pretty much like teleporting. Thanks, son. Enjoy the toys, and good luck with the whole, you know, prisoner of the theater shit. Namaste, Father Spaghetti, and good luck. All right, Donna Bay, we can go back to New Jersey now. We have to go to the pub first. Wow. So what do you say we unbox all this shit? Wow. He really went all out. There's a ton of random crap in here. How about we go inside the theater and open all this shit up? I still got some time before I have to go to my next stupid movie, The Idaho Transfer. Let's go open this shit. The whole point of this video is to open this up. And now we're finally there. Let's go open all this random stuff up. I don't even know what half this is. Seriously, this should be interesting. I follow an interesting guy when it comes to buying random crap. He does this all the time. He just buys a bunch of toys over the course of a year, throws it into a bag and gives it to me. This should be fun, all right? Let's go in the theater and open this crap up already. Right. There's this much of it, folks. Couldn't even all fit in that one bag. Hi, everyone. Well, here we are, inside the theater, to open all this crap. I'll go through it as quickly as possible, but yeah, there's a lot of shit here. Right off the top, what we got here? Oh my, look at this. This is Black Adam. Haven't seen this movie yet. Garbage goes on the floor. I work here, I can do what I want. That is Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the Adam, folks. The first thing that I open. Number two, Robin. Everybody knows who Robin is, right? From Batman, Batman's little gay buddy. Right, his ward. Robin, 
Here is Robin, folks. Get a little plastic cape. Got a gun? Because Robin needs a gun now. That, folks, is Robin. You don't look like Burt Ward. Next one. We're going to go into the Star Wars universe. There's a few of these in here, I noticed. Obi-Wan ship bodies. I remember now. Ta-da. That thing. From Star Wars. And it comes with a little dude. It's even got a little person in it. Well, that's that one. Next gift. This one is just a TIE Fighter. Got a couple of these. Different versions. Pretty soon I'll have my own army of TIE Fighters. Toy TIE Fighters. And this one comes with a little dude too. A little pilot. One of those little all in black pilots. Get out. More plastic. Use of plastic. Oh man, the plastic we waste these days. A little door on top, as you can see. And we're gonna drop this little guy inside. Get in there. Go, go save the Empire or some shit. Next gift more Star Wars. Empty box. What do we have in this bag? Mystery bag. Ooh. It's one of your generic stormtroopers. Easy to kill. They say something stupid like, you hold it, freeze, and then somebody's like, zap, and you're dead. Next, more Star Wars shit. This is a Hallmark ornament for a Christmas tree of Boba Fett. Probably can't see it in the plastic, so let's bust them out. Oh yeah, he's wearing a little dress too. Boba Fett, folks. I'll put that on the Christmas tree next year. Well, this year, at the end of the year. Next, more Star Wars stuff again. A Hot Wheel for Star Wars. That's kind of neat, huh? Star Wars Hot Wheels, and it's something recognizable too. X-34 Land Speeder, the one that Luke Skywalker drove in the first movie. I have a larger version of one of these toys, but not a matchbox version. Holy shit, it's cool. It's coming out of the package. Right? That was easy. Look at that thing. That's cool. I like it. So far, it's my favorite. Next, more Star Wars. -y. Let's stick. With, let's stick with the Star Wars theme, since there's a whole bunch of Star Wars crap here. Star Wars, Andor, Cassian, Andor. I never saw Andor. That's one of the new ones. Who's this? this? This must be Andor. He's a goofy looking man. He's just kind of a regular looking English guy. In an era filled with danger, Andor exists. I'd have to see it, but let's box, unbox him in here. Let's see what Andor looks like when he's not in a box. I feel like Andor didn't do well. I don't even barely remember hearing about this one. Oh, piece of paper. Directions on how to use an Andor. Thank you for purchasing Andor. He is a guy. A figure of a guy. Yeah, he just looks like a regular dude. All right, Andor, put your little vest on. Here's your gun. I don't know much about Andor, so I'm not gonna judge him. Andor, armed and ready to kill. I don't know if he's good. I don't know if he's bad. I know he's Andor. Andor, hang out with this stormtrooper. Next on the list, here is a familiar character, everybody. Lando Calrissian from Return of the Jedi. When he's wearing that you know, Return of the Jedi outfit from the beginning of the movie when he was at Jabba's palace. The crazy helmet with all the freaking claws on it. Yeah. Directions. And cardboard. Now. Ugh. Hello. What have we here? That's right. Lando. King of Cloud City. The face on this one, I think, looks really good. That's just my opinion. Maybe you can't see it well from there, but put his little helmet on. Make it even look more like it. Give him his little stick. Let's keep going, folks. We got a lot to open. Where are we now? Here's a Star Wars thing. What is this, folks? A Hover E-Web Cannon. And it comes with the Mandalorian. Let's see what this is. I'm guessing this little package here is the Mandalorian? It is. Missile goes in. It goes on the thing. Idiot, stay on the thing. Anyhow, that's basically it. It's the Mandalorian, with a little gun, fire, and a big gun. Another huge Star Wars one, folks. Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this ship. Razor Crest, must be from one of the new ones. 
Maybe. It comes with three little guys. Din Djarin, Off-World Jawa, q -Will. Yeah, this must be from the Mandalorian again. Oh, we have a little ship here. There we go. Yeah, that's the ship. It's kind of cool because it's detailed as hell. Let's get these little bastards aboard. Get inside there. Get in there, you too, Mando. Yes, get in there. How about you? No, no, not me. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'm not Francis from Kiwi Big Adventure. Well, that one's down. Let's see what we got next. Any more? Oh, another Star Wars one, folks. What do you know? Here's one that's recognizable. This is the Slave One. Boba Fett's Starship, as they call it. It comes with Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. I have no idea who that is. Why do they call it his starship? Is Slave One offensive now? I don't know. That, that's pretty cool. This one I like. This one I really like. The Slave One, AKA Boba Fett Starship. All right. All right, Boba Fett, you and Fennec Shand. Where the hell at it? Fennec, get in there. Oops. Fennec fell. Okay, Fennec. Get in there, Fennec. You too, Boba. Keep Fennec company. He needs friends. Nobody knows who the hell he is. Any more Star Wars stuff you're asking? Well, guess what? There is. Look at this one. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader. It's like a little plush toy kind of thing, sort of. It's soft, but the head is hard. Directions. Ooh, he ain't standing on his own. I always forget Darth Vader had a freaking cape. You're a loony one, Vader. You don't need a cape. You can't fly. See? All right, folks, I think there's one more Star Wars thing. The final Star Wars gift. The Mandalorian with, oh, what do they call that little shit? Grogu. I just call him Baby Yoda, so. Grogu. Ooh, this one's fancy, I like it. If you want to be a Mandalorian, you better have your own jetpack. More garbage, folks. Well, there, that is pretty cool. This I like, put his jetpack on. It talks! It's like talking Tina. Are you gonna kill me, Grogu? Seriously? I'll be good. This is detailed. Mandalorian with Grogu. It talks. Well, that's all Star Wars stuff, but we still have a little bit more to go. Legends. Aha. Ajax. Ajax? Like the stuff people use to clean, clean with? Oh, Marvel the Eternals. Never saw this one. Selma Hayek. I have a Selma Hayek action figure. At best, I can say I have a Selma Hayek action figure. I don't know who this character is, because I've never seen the Eternals, but it's well detailed. And man, like Selma Hayek, she has a nice rack. <laughs> you know, for an older woman, she's still looking pretty good, you gotta admit. Let's open up Selma Hayek. All right, Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek, the Eternals. Again, not familiar with this movie, but a well-detailed figure anyway, with a nice rack. You go to the pile, Selma. Hang out with Lando. Yeah, he's a real ladies' man. Next, we have another one. Also from the Eternals. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Cersei, she's got an extra leg. This is Cersei, everybody. I don't know who this actress is. Crazy extra leg. You know what this reminds me of? A wooden leg named Smith joke. What was the name of her other leg? All right, Cersei. Ta-da! Cersei of the Eternals with her crazy leg. Must have some meaning. Your rack isn't as defined as, I don't know. I think your racks are actually kind of equal. Yep, they have equal racks. I'm, I know, I'm a perv. Big boy. We have three more to go. Number three. Selena Kyle. That's Catwoman. Holy shit. Catwoman when she's not Catwoman. From The Batman. That's the new one. The one with shovel face. When it comes to Catwoman, I guess Lee Merriweather is my favorite. I'm an old-fashioned idiot, I know. Now let's see. She got a whip. Come on, Miss Kit Cup. There we go. Selena Guile. That's hot. Two more to go. I saved my favorite two for last. Big Trouble in Little China. Not Kurt Russell, though, no. A secondary character, Crazy Hat Guy. You remember that scene in the movie where Kurt Russell lifts the guy's hat up? 
punches him. The guy has like not affected at all. And Kurt Russell does that hilarious kind of nod back to him that he does. That's the guy. There's a figure for him. Crazy hat guy. He has the crazy hat and everything. I think he's wearing a lampshade on his head. There he is, folks. Crazy hat guy from Big Trouble with China. See now he's talking about he's like, Ugh. He's not as like, Ugh. What I believe the final gift is the character of Ash. Not Bruce Campbell, but the character of Ash from the movie Alien. Right? You know, Bilbo Baggins, the same actor anyway. Ian Holm, right? And according to the back of this box, they have a figure for everybody. There's a figure for everyone. But I guess this one wasn't selling as well, maybe. Because all these look like they were marked down. They got a Tom Scarrett one, it looks like Tom Scarrett too. All these look pretty good actually. They all look like who they're supposed to look like. He was the android whose head came off in the end. And yes, he comes with the head. Let's open up that. Yeah. And there he is. In all his blue suit glory. Anyway, he's got a shitload of accessories. He's got a hypodermic needle. I'm sure if I watched the movie, this would show up, whatever it is. It's like a rolled up newspaper. Looks like that thing Scotty uses on Star Trek when he's crawling around the uh, Jeffrey's tube. Cup of white liquid and three extra hands. He has a man hand, of course. His extra head from the movie. Just like in the movie, if you've seen Alien, you know what I'm talking about here. When they reanimated his dead head. Here he is in full body form. Ash, I, I totally forgot his name was Ash, to be honest. I just always remember this guy as that character whose head came off, and they zapped it back to life. I saw this movie as a kid. It was creepy. Like a horror movie in space is what I remember it. Now, he's gonna stand? No, stand, you idiot. Well, I think that is everything. Thanks, Pops. I really appreciate all this stuff. Hope he finds his way back to New Jersey. And I can't wait till next year and see what random bag of toys he buys me then. I like it, though. And what's my favorite, though? I gotta pick a favorite. I, that's why I said I saved this one for last, because this was my favorite of the, all the shit in here. The character from Alien, whose head comes off. And, of course, crazy hat, lampshade guy from Big Trouble in Little China. Can't get enough of that. Only his hat seems to have trouble staying on his head. I have a... Selma Hayek now, and her little green friend. I have Lesbian Catwoman, and oh, another one I should say is really good one, was being able to get this cool, really well-made face version of Lando, and of course, the Matchbox car of Luke Skywalker's land speeder, Mandalorian on the machine gun, that lady's leg named Smith. Oh, of course, Andor, who could forget Andor? Andor. Ah, uh, and the first one we opened, all back to square one. It all started with the Atom, the Rock. The Rock, the Atom, Crazy Robin with all his crazy accessories. Oh yeah, the Stormtrooper. Can't forget about the Stormtrooper. And this weird ship, I don't remember. And of course, Mando and Baby Yoda. Slave One, which is a starship now. This is it, folks. This is all the toys. Holy crap. Well, they take up less space once they're out of the box, but now I got a bunch of cardboard and plastic to add to my recycling shit. God, I hate that. It piles up so fast. You know what I mean, right, folks? Well, that'll do it. That's the unboxing episode. I guess I gotta go report to the theater and watch the Idaho transfer again. Anyway, thanks, folks. Hope you enjoyed my unboxing. See you next time. Plates are right. Spaghetti pub. Sounds gross. Let's see. Oh. This must be what he was talking about. This must be the door to John Malkovich's brain. My ticket home to New Jersey. It smells funny. I'm afraid, folks. Pray for, pray for Father Spaghetti. He's supposed to go into no man's territory. Hopefully this actually leads to New Jersey. Back to my love. So my love and I can be together again in our homeland. Oh boy. Should have just taken a plane. Here we go. Be John Malkovich. I never saw the movies. My sons are weirdos. Here we go. Be John Malkovich. What is he talking about?
love, in love. Love will make you do crazy things. Love. Oh, uh oh. Wow. Oh, is that Gary Sinise? I think it is. Wasn't he in CSI or something? Oh, Lieutenant Dan, that's who he is. But not us. That's it, George. But not, not us. Tell about us. Am I in the woods? We're gonna get a little place. Is this New Jersey? Can we eat or not? Some pigs? We're gonna have maybe, pigs. maybe chicken. Maybe. I I, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's alfalfa for the rabbit. And I get the tender rabbit. Oh! Oh dear.